Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin Hughes and I am the Artistic Director for Moroccan Oil and welcome to my Moroccan Oil Closet. For winter hair care, I think it's really, really important that people do a once a week hydrating mask. Something like the Moroccan Oil Weightless Hydrating Mask is ideal mm -hmm. because even if you have really fine hair, you're still able to get that moisture back into your hair, um, but without weighing it down at all. With the dry heat inside um, every building, every house, it's really just whisking all that moisture out. Mm -hmm. So it's important that we replenish that. So I recommend it at least once a week. Um, it'll also cut down a little bit on that static claim. Um, but a big part of that is going to be in the moment, daily. Um, so be sure to use a product that's going to help keep a little bit of moisture in your hair as well. Something like our Moroccan Oil Smoothing Lotion. This is great because it's really going to help smooth the cuticle layer of the hair. So even if you have really curly hair, you can still use this, embrace your curls, but it's just going to cut down on the frizz. So what I recommend with the Weightless Hydrating Mask is to shampoo your hair with your normal um, shampoo, mm -hmm. Moroccan Oil shampoo, <laughs> and then follow it with the Moroccan Oil Weightless uh, Hydrating Mask okay. instead of you're replacing your conditioner um, with this once a week. If you feel um, that your hair can handle it, um, it's drier than normal, um, you can absolutely use it daily, you could use it twice a week, whatever you feel is the appropriate amount. Just taking usually a small scoop um, following your uh, shampoo, mm -hmm. run it from root all the way down through the ends, leave it on for a few minutes while you're sudsing up, and then rinse it after you, as you're rinsing like basically the rest of your body, mm -hmm. and just rinse it really well. I think one of the reasons why people will steer clear of masks mm -hmm. is because they sometimes tend to not rinse well, and they feel like it weighs their hair down. And that really shouldn't happen with any uh, shampoos or conditioners, just we forget and we're always in a rush, so right. just be sure to always rinse really well. I, I love that people are really embracing their natural texture, mm -hmm. so that's going to continue to be a trend. Um, you see it backstage at New York Fashion Week. Every designer wants those girls with natural texture to embrace that texture, which I think is really important. Life's a lot easier when you're embracing your natural texture. Yeah. But we're also seeing like even in styling, um, ladies with very, very fine, thin hair. Mm -hmm. They're creating these waves with a flat iron. You can really create very uh, cool, I call them broken waves. And it's just rocking your um, flat iron back and forth as you travel down your hair strand. Mm -hmm. And you can create a more texture or a, a less texture, um, just depending upon how quickly you rotate that iron back and forth. The beauty of this though is that you don't have to be perfect. It's mm. almost better okay. when you start to slant it even as you're rotating it down the hair shaft. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly horizontal. Um, you're not having to hold it at a certain angle. The waves last longer mm -hmm. in the hair um, as opposed to like a traditional curl as well. So right. that's always a good thing. Mm -hmm. And then as far as color we're seeing um, I think blue like a, a, a very almost like a Moroccan oil blue, a, a turquoise blue. So we're gonna see varying shades of that uh, throughout the hair, as well as like um, keeping pastels, but uh, maybe with a dusty overlay, sort of muting them down just a tiny bit, but still having that beautiful pink or um, rose gold or whatever the color might be. And then as far as cuts, I think that um, what's really great is women are keeping length in their hair, but they're adding a lot more layers. Mm -hmm. The way that hairstylists are cutting the hair has mm -hmm. changed a bit. Mm -hmm. We're really introducing invisible layers. And the ways that we do that is by weaving hair. There are no severe lines throughout. So you could, or you should be able to blow your hair out completely straight and not see any lines in it. Oh, wow. And that's how you would basically know if that hair, those layers are cut really well and really diffused. And that I think is gonna be a big trend along with, I think this short bob, uh, this French girl bob is gonna carry over because it started a little late, I think. Um, but it's a, a look that I see a lot of women embracing and it's an easy look to go to from a lob or a longer bob that a lot of women have, mm -hmm. um, sort of moving up from there. And then of course it's cyclical, so then you'll see people start to grow their hair right. out, um, grow their fringe out a little bit as well.
So we are launching seven new shades, and there are shades that are sort of refresher tones for those people that have that done in the salon, and they really just want to refresh their hair after a couple weeks. If their color fades or gets a little dull, they can sort of add this just to refresh. And then we have our colors, our fashion colors, the pink hibiscus, our aquamarine, which is like a blue-green. If your hair is really, really blonde, mm -hmm. you get a much purer tone. But what we're finding to be really fun, especially working with a lot of stylists, is mixing them and creating other colors. So for instance, you can take our uh, hibiscus, our aquamarine, and our platinum, which is uh, sort of a silver, mm -hmm. and create a beautiful violet tone. Mm -hmm. You think, wow, like it's all about the color, but what we found is that it's almost equal parts color and care. Um, so people are really responding to the way that their hair feels afterward. They're feeling that moisture, that conditioning mm -hmm. back into their hair. And that's really very, very important to Mark and Oil as well. Mm -hmm. You can also mix these with, we recommend our weightless hydrating mask, just because it is like a white um, tone to right. it. And so you're not gonna get any additive tones, um, but we, you can actually use it to make this a pastel color. So you use more mask and just a little bit of the um, color depositing mask, mm -hmm. and you get this really beautiful uh, pastel pink. At same thing with our blue, um, our rose gold, and a lot of people can even do this at home right. by putting it on, applying it at your root, leaving it on there for a little bit, a few extra minutes, and then dragging it through the ends. I call it like a frosty end. Mm -hmm. So it's like deeper color at the root where it sat a little bit longer, mm -hmm. and then pulling it through the ends, maybe just leaving it on there for two to three minutes. Um, it gives you almost like an icy, Bit, uh, variation of that actual tone. Right. The beauty is if you're not great with doing that, you can always apply it directly all over the head. And most heads of hair have multi-tone, multi-dimension. Right. So you're always gonna get that dimension to begin with. We don't give a timeline as far as how long it will last because every single person's hair and their porosity is different. Right. So we recommend, you know, if you don't want it to last very long, um, leave it on a little bit less time. Um, and you can shampoo, the more you shampoo your hair, the more often, the quicker it fades out.